سرايا المرابطين استهداف عام تمشي in peril. As the world battles a pandemic, large swaths of the African continent have been submerged by floods. This is the scene in the eastern Ugandan city of Jinja, along the shores of Lake Victoria. Since March, flooding has left more than 400 people dead in East Africa. In Uganda, Catholic Relief Services estimates that as many as 580,000 people are affected, from nice lakeshore homes in Kampala to small farms along the Kenya border. And you're a small smallholder farmer who normally benefits from farming on a riverbank, and suddenly there's this raging flash flood uh, that comes down the hills and mountains uh, because of this very intense rainfall. Um, you know, you lose everything. In the town of Jinja, radio host and environmental activist John Hillary says flooding doesn't just destroy homes, it ruins the very fabric that holds society together. The public hospital, the only public hospital in the Chilembe region, uh, um, you know, completely destroyed. So people, uh, as a result of the floods, uh, got sick, but they could not get anywhere else to go to uh, because uh, the hospital had been um, destroyed. De Hue says heavy rainfall is normal in East Africa. What isn't is the frequency and intensity seen lately. He says Uganda is facing a triple threat that's making it even harder for groups to help. We have, uh, we have the locusts, we have all the floods, um, and then uh, on top of everything else, we, had, uh, we have COVID-19. And so it's been, uh, for the affected people, it's been an especially hard year, uh, you know, to be on a lockdown and be affected by floods. And then because of the lockdown, um, accessing the support and the relief that, uh, that they are entitled to. Hillary, who has a radio show, speaks often about climate change. He grew up on a farm, so for him, this is personal. Uh, over time, we have noticed that uh, because of uh, what I think is negligence, um, we have done, we have been involved in practices that have completely destroyed our rain cycle, our, our climate is deteriorating every other day. I'm only 26. I have seen um, over time, my, my world deteriorating. I don't want to see the same for my children. This, he says, is a living nightmare. This is his home, and he wants future generations to see its beauty, too. Anita Palvio News, Johannesburg.